when you drive your car off the lot, the price just drops, right? You uh, depreciate. Well, what happened is, um, so you get a loan for, let's say, Haley bought that car for $20,000, drove off the lot, and it went down to $15,000, okay? Well, if it goes down to $15,000, and you got a loan, but then let's say you had an accident, and the insurance company will only pay you the value of the car, $15,000, but you got the loan for $20,000, what happened? You, okay, let's say you said you bought the car for $20,000, you drove off the lot, it depreciates $15,000. Uh-huh, you went and got a loan for $20,000, right? You only make $20,000, right? You just drove off the lot and somebody, you made a left turn and it was your fault. Somebody hit you. And then the, the, the value of the car, the insurance company is gonna only pay you the value of the car, which is 15. So what happens to that extra $5,000 that you, you have to pay it out hot, right? So there is something concept called gap insurance that you may want to consider, okay? But you have to look at how much the cost of the gap insurance. So what happens that gap insurance, it will allow you to, to take care of the difference. But that's just a little bit too advanced for you, okay?
say, well, what about the $10,000? Why can't you use that $10,000 credit card? Credit card A, credit card B. So they already have the state community already. Okay. Anybody? All right, so that's why it's a trick question, okay? When you have, when you have a $10,000 credit card and $10,800 is only a small percentage. It's less than, it's less than 10%, uh, right? Of your credit limits on the $10,000 credit card, right? $800 is 80% of your credit limits, right? So what happens is, when somebody runs a credit report on you, they say that you are excessively near your debt to income, or your credit line, you're near your credit line. So in other words, it makes your credit score look bad. Okay? It makes your credit card look bad. So what happens is, the, the, the rule of thumb is to only spend below, say below 30% of your credit limits of your credit card. Okay? That's a, that's a, that's a 30 point on your credit score. I mean, I heard a while from the young students, but I, I don't know if they really know. So you're only supposed to spend 30% of your credit That's right. 30%, you, if you have a credit card, you're only supposed to be spending 30% of it. Even though you're going to pay off at the end of the month, but any, anytime somebody's going to run your credit score, it's going to show, it's going to show that you are near your credit limit, you're in excess of it, okay? So that's the thing that you can inform your parents to do that, okay? Now, the other thing is, how do you guys build credit anyway? Everybody here have a checking account? Okay. You need to have something, some checking account, some kind of, something to show the bank, to show the credit agency you have a trade history, trading history with, with the creditor, okay? And if you do that, after a while they said, wow, this person is trustworthy. We might offer them credit. Okay? So, so that's one of the things you have to do. And then the other thing is, if you ever apply for a credit card, one of the asking the question is this. Um, do you have a saving account? So how do you have a saving account? Good job. Because you need to have a saving account. It might not be a lot of money, but just have a saving account. But then the other thing you need to do is you need to shop around. You need to shop around for fees. You don't need to be putting money into something where it requires you to uh, pay them to keep your money. You need to look for what's free. You need to look for what's, uh, they may not have a minimum fees. I mean, minimum balance, or minimum balance. You know, like say, you have a city account, they said in order for you not to have any fees, they'll, you have to have at least a thousand dollars in there. So what happened is your your money's held being held hostage. You, know, you can't use it, you know, it's your money, but you have to keep a thousand dollars in there so you can save yourself fifty dollars. So the point is shop around. Okay. Okay. Now uh, with that in mind, okay. Anything else regarding credit score? Regarding uh, how to get your credit score improved? Anybody have any questions?
Okay, good question. The question was, you let's say you just bought a car and there was a disaster and you are unable to make the payment, and how soon will it take to get your uh, credit back? Okay. The, the key thing is, first, before you even try to attempt to do that, if you start having some problems, you need to call the, your creditor and see if they have something in the policy where certain things like disasters to occur, where they allow you to maybe not make the, uh, uh, you, give you like a couple of months of, uh, you know, of not having to make payments or things like that. So those, those are some of the things that we uh, that you could do. But uh, uh, work it out that way. The thing is, if you don't make the payment, that's how it works. Uh, your, your credit comes back. Okay. Um, I think we don't, we're running out of time. And uh, I'm going to let uh, Jackie come up to uh, close us up, okay? Thanks, Eric. Um, my name is Jackie Chen. I'm the advisor. Again, thank you very much, Emma, for coming and um, teach us very valuable lessons about not getting this chance and not driving. We would like to uh, show you and give this as our gift of appreciation for you. This is our new shirt. Um, for the um, 
the season ticket. In 50 years, that will be $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a great day. You can save money and the, uh, some of the saving discount and for the group will also come along. But it's a good if you're interested to go. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, we got one last uh, item that we need to discuss as a group. But before we do, I'd like to have a group picture with the speakers and the Leo members stay for five minutes because we need to make a decision on what we want to do for our December winter poll. So, uh, can I have the speakers? And, um, five minutes.